Hello, this is Keith from KMA's Corner, and how are you doing today? Welcome to episode number 43 of my KMA's Jam series, just another Minecraft series. In last episode, we were working with villagers, and as you see above me, um, I have a villager breeder with baby villagers being bred. And I am out of villagers, and I need to still fill up my green dragon villager in. So I need to wait for some villagers to be bred. And while we do that, I am going to do some menial tasks in this area. So I said I wanted to stick around spawn area so I can continue growing villagers at my breeder there. And so there's a couple of menial tasks like I had mentioned that needs to be done. And one of them is this entrance way here. Yes, it it looks fine and whatever, but it doesn't have the same motif as the rest of the build. And I've been meaning to um, clear this out a little bit and put in the blocks that I think best fit. Um, so I'm going to fill in the blocks that I want in here like this and um, make this area look better. So I'm almost done with the first menial task, which is making this area look like the rest of this place. Um, kind of run down, beat up, and weathered a little bit. I mean, this whole outside of R2-D2 with um, the blocks is kind of this series of blocks so I kind of wanted to fill this area up with that same sort of motif to make it look better because pretty soon this world is going to be on a world download and if you guys can figure out where my secret hidey hole is and how to get in and out you will have a, the nice pleasure of seeing a decent looking room instead of something unfinished let me um, go through it make sure it's okay I would like to hmm, fix some of these blocks right there. I don't think it's that big a deal. I don't really feel like breaking the redstone door to change those blocks. Hmm. I'll change these two though, just because. There we go. So that is done next menial task on the way and I believe is close enough to spawn for my villagers to um, breed is oh there's my silk touch is to harvest this ice so let's harvest the ice I love the sound of ice when it breaks The ice tray has been iced, or shall I say de-iced. Now initially, <clears throat> I had this elytra launcher over here, and what I had done to make it fit was I cut out part of this hill, and um, <laughs> without really thinking about it, I had the elytra launcher right here, and it shot me right into that building. I thought I actually could veer up and out of the way of the building, but I was too close to the building, so I kind of derped badly. But I would like to fill in this area because this looks kind of crappy. So I'm just going to put some dirt in here and terraform this a little bit because I want this world to look good for the world download, which is happening in a few episodes. Well, that should do it. Next time it snows, it will look just like the rest of this area because we all know I like the snow. Now, the next thing on the ticket is I need to make two more of these um, towers basically in the same place that I made the towers over here so I'm just gonna mirror the bottom layer of these towers over here and um, I'm not gonna fill in the glass just yet because I want to uh, come up with something for the glass design 
But now we're going to work on these towers. And I'm not going to show you any of that. I'm just going to build them. All right, guys. I worked on the two towers that I told you about. And they are done. And I got rid of the trees in here so I could see the two towers and show you the two towers. I do have these blocks up there that kind of block them a little bit. But it's the same towers as these, but a lot smaller. So, yeah, those are three tiers high. This is just one tier high. And now that uh, the towers are up, I need to make the walls um and i guess i'm gonna do it glass i'm just gonna put up some glass walls here uh there's one two three four five areas i was thinking of doing it each different type of tree like put a birch tree there put an image of a acacia tree there put an image of an oak tree there and i was kind of thinking what should i put over here you know and um i don't know I'll figure out what design to do with the glass, but first, before we do the glass, I'm going to replant these things. I'll put the, <clears throat> the dirt back up and just walk around here and go like this. Now all the acacia trees are planted, so our next thing on our list is to go get some sand. So let me go get some sand. So going down the nether tunnel towards the sand pit, you see this big hole in front of me. This is something I'm going to take care of before the 50th episode for the download. Um, this is the tunnel to my Mega Taiga where I get my Podzel. And as all my tunnels have been completed for the most part, except for this one. This one's about 900 blocks long, which is a little long. But uh, we plan on fixing this up and making it look good before the 50th episode where I'm uh, going to put the world for download. And that's kind of what I'm doing here is just fixing the things that I've been putting off for a little while and um, hopefully making this place a good place to download in a couple episodes. And this is the way to my sand pit. And as you see, I <laughs> I love the sand. I don't love what has been left back. Oops. Eee. So I am going to get the sand. Um, I'm just going to fill up my inventory. Hopefully I have an ender chest near the portal. Hopefully the ender chest isn't um, completely filled with junk right now. So I can really bring a ton of sand back. And then what I'm going to do is uh, put it in my super smell tree and just wait before I can get the glass. Let's click the little sand and speed this up a little bit so you get an idea of how much sand I get. Everything's colored. Everything goes, oh, it must be to do with orange. Not like the other. I have gotten my inventory full of sand, so I am off to the smeltery to make the sand into glass. Then I gotta figure out what colors of glass I want. I know I don't want green for tree leaves um, and brown for um, <laughs> the wood texture. But let's first put the stuff in the smeltery and I'll figure out exactly what colors I want and um, the designs that I want. Let's just jump down here. Kaplunk. Oh, that's right. Sometimes <laughs> when I hit this button over here, the um, 
cart goes and it goes without me <laughs> and I sent it back down so next time I came down here I can squish it there's that sand I have a little bit like a nitwit I have my end my ender chest filled with stupid stuff like dyes and magma blocks which I gotta clear out so when I go on my collecting things I can get a lot more sand or whatever I'm collecting but here we go this is the sand I'm gonna use I'm just gonna wait for it to all, to all cook up and I'm gonna make some glass and I think I got some glass over here that I could possibly use also so lots of tree leaves glass but you know sand is a good thing to have so I'm gonna come back maybe work on the um, glass a little bit and show you what I've done for the building all right guys so I've been doing some work on the tree farm over there a little bit more than I thought I was going to be doing but I decided to go along and do it anyways which has given me enough time to get a whole bunch of villagers in here and uh, I don't know if they're still in the breeding mode but I think I have enough villagers here to possibly fill up a couple more spaces in my Green Dragon Villager Inn, where I have all the villagers hanging out right now. Um, let me show you that real quick, just so you know what I'm talking about, if I don't remember. <laughs> because I do not remember whether or not I showed you this, this video, or just last video. But all my villagers are being put over here by what they sell, and I'm just getting the best ones to put over here. And that's why I wanted to like do work around spawn so more villagers can be bred and I can get some more great villagers to work with. So let me show you what I have done on the farm over here. What happened here? Uh oh. I have a bad chunk. That is not good. The first corrupted chunk on here. Hmm. Let me make sure this is a chunk border. 15. Yep. Crap. I'm going to have to take this down. I'm going to have to <laughs> back up this world because once this starts happening. Oh no. This is not excellent at all. I hope I don't have anything underground here. Let's see. Do I, I don't have enough blocks to get up there. Let's just get up there the old fashioned way, find out what is going on here. Why do I have this weird chunk growing in the middle of my world? This is kind of upsetting because the last time this happened I was able to work a couple of more days and that was it for the world. The world completely corrupted on me, so I'm going to have to make a backup as soon as I'm done recording this. But this is a great place to see what I've done. <laughs> I really hope this is the only chunk messed up. This is not good. That means there's a chunk somewhere over there probably that was uh, crud. But anyways, I added this design which was the same design that is on the inside over there um, to the outsides to both sides of the outsides so one over here and one over there then for this area should cut down this acacia tree Whee! um i made the glass and i made the acacia tree and i made the normal tree and i made the beech tree on the outside of the glass so you can also um You know see what type of trees are grown in this section of the farm whoops so and the last thing I did was this middle section I'm starting to fill in this middle section and I'm gonna have this type of design going up over of over here all the way to the top I'm just basically gonna rebuild what I did in the front here eventually not in this video because the video has, time has almost been used up so I'm going to end this before I actually finish this. But um, you see these little arches here with the glowstone and stuff. I'm going to make the same exact thing over here. So the front of the building will mirror the back of the building. Except for the front has it in front of this thing a piece that sticks out for the entrance. And I'm not going to add that. And it also has a higher... That really bugs me. 
<laughs> you go away. Um, it has higher towers there. And uh, hmm. so I have to do that over here. Then I'm going to build a um, roof or ceiling on this out of glass. That's going to mirror a design I did in my super secret project that you have not seen yet. Oh, and one last thing. I was having trouble with the redstone for a particular area here. Um, I was having trouble wiring up this particular dispenser because it was too close to this other redstone. So what I ended up doing was moving the dispenser over and hooking it up somehow. I forget exactly how I did it, but, you know, uh, ah, when it comes to redstone and me, it's just like try something and hope it works. And that's what I did. So, ah. Uh, I'm not sure where it is, so... Hmm. I don't want to go digging to find out where this last dispenser was. But anyways, it's all fixed. But I don't know why that is there. I think that might be just left over from something I took out. <laughs> well, let's make sure it's all fixed now with the world being corrupt and all. Hmm. That's... That, that really... Yeah. I'm not going to put this down because I still have saplings I want grown. So for some reason, when I hit the button once, I get that. I do it twice, the rest of them all go. Which is fine by me. I can hit them twice. Um, and as you see, all the water goes to the edge. I mean, the water's not going to the edge heap there because I haven't pulled down the, the dirt yet. But I'm pretty sure everything will work. Yeah, because... Of, Dirt here, same there, and same there. So once I pistonize this dirt down, the water will flow properly. So um, that is the deal. It is basically almost all done. Maybe one more episode of work on this massive tree farm I have built. And um, we can move on because, you know, I got to fill in this area. And that's what I'm going to build over here. All right. That is it for KMA's Jams number episode number 43. My name is Keith from KMA's Corner. Thank you for watching. We are almost to the world download to world tour episode 50. A few more episodes and I'm just tidying things up and things should be good here. So have a great day. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, send a like, make a comment, tell me off, do something. <laughs> I like to, to uh, work and talk with the people who watch this video. Are you okay there, Gordy? Are you sure? Okay. My cat, I think, hurt his back paw. I'm going to go check him out, make sure he's okay. Have a good day. Peace. Bye.